Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the, uh, the first expedition at Turkey Run State Park in 2008. We are here to find the artifacts and, and, and go back into the States and make the best opportunity about the Pyro Indians. They're the most awesome. feared Indians of all time. We are also looking for evidence of the Great War with the Puku Indians. <laughs> This is the very, very special spot. This is where the Pyro Indians began. They came down through this area, came There's here, and started their very first fire. This Which, of course, burned through this whole area, and then the water came through it, yeah. This is the punch bowl that the Pyro Indians used to meet up, and they would have their parties here. Back before this was all filled up with water and such, this used to flow one single stream, no other places with the water, so that they would have a nice stream to flow down the river as they enjoy their party. We're here in the Pyro Indians' lair. This is where they kept pris. This is where they kept the prisoners. There used to be bars here, of course. Pyro Indians, they, they burned them. So, yeah, prisoners this, burned every Saturday. This, it was like a torture day. This Holocaust. is where they kept the Indians before they would throw them in the ceremonial fire that happened every week to show their love to the God. And this Yeah. That's and it. this is where they would hide their look at. They would stand up here and shoot their arrows down. Is a can of what the local Indian tribe, the Pyros, called Pringles. This was their primary stacking food in their seasons in which they did not have the conveniences such as Fritos. This was the pinnacle of the Poo Poo Indian strategy against the Pyros. As you can see, the water right there prevented the Pyros from crossing. But as you can see, the Pyro Indians made this bridge one of the biggest bridges made by the pyro Indians. Oh, Indians climb down and try not to get killed. <laughs> Just like the Boy Scout. It's an incredible feat for the archaeologists. They've literally dug this whole bottom area out. That's why we need to use ladders. Here, and this is where the pyro Indians used to attack. The Poo Poo Indians across, they would climb this rock face for fun sometimes afterwards, and they burnt fire to this rock at one point also. That is why it is so green. <laughs> you might think that green is the color of a new and prosperous rock face, but green is a grim sign for the Poo Poo Indians. Louder. Pyro Indians carve out this lair. This is where the king used to sit. This is where the, the chief of the Pyro oh. Indians used to sit here. Yeah, Ben, the look at that. Yeah. The reason why it is so hot in this cavern and twisted mazes of the Pyro Indians is for all the fires that they created. They've created so many fires that the earth literally absorbed the heat. Now, since the great fire of Eskimon Tropophosis, they shall be, they shall, the earth shall be hot for 20 more years until, they're, until the heat is worn off. This is also where the kings were thought to be mortalized into God. They would take their bodies, place them here, and then burn them, hoping that their ashes would get to the heavens. Unfortunately for the Poo Poo Indians that didn't know, that will never happen. Okay, this is one of the small passes that was forged by water and chisels. <laughs> what about the this fire? This was the only joint effort by the Poo Poo and the Pyro. Next time on the Revolution Band Podcast. This place was loved for many reasons by the Pyro Indians. The light shines down here quite frequently at this time of day. It's great. You should see these maple trees and hockey rinks of